If you learn something that's false in regards to survival, you may not survive, AKA you're gonna die. That's a big deal. Silva pocket compass. This thing's awesome. I'm gonna show you why. I'm also gonna bust another myth. <laughs> Hello world, Will White here, Pike Antler Survival School. I want to give you a very useful tip today on using this compass correctly. Primarily the backside to find out what time it is. Now if you research how to use this to find time, you'll often find something that is incorrect, except for a few weeks out of the year, because oftentimes most of us use noon time, time noon, for navigation. The fact is most of the time we should be using solar noon. Big difference. Big difference. If you want to go back to a video I posted a few weeks ago on solar noon, is the sun actually south at noon? Myth busted. That'd be a good thing to go back and watch now as you can kind of better understand what's going on here. I'm still going to go over it, but that one's focused primarily on solar noon and noon finding south. Now, before I start, I really, really, really want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel, not just because I want subscribers, but because of my brain. I have particularly annoying brain sometimes i can't help but to notice patterns or disruption in patterns and i always like to test things all right there's a lot of information out there in the entire world that's just inaccurate and when it comes to survival i'm really focused on it because it's survival if you learn something that's false in regards to survival you may not survive aka you're going to die that's a big deal you'll see a lot of my posts the thumbnail will say uh, myth busted you might want to watch that so what this video is about today is using the back of this cool little handy compass. Man, I love this thing. It fits in your pocket, you kind of forget it's there anytime you need it. Uh, it's there, and it's not this big bulky thing to carry around. Pretty damn versatile as well. So some of the videos you'll see on this will say, here's what you need to do. Point this at the sun, no matter what time of day it is. Turn your dial and put red Fred in the shed. And then wherever it lands on the bottom side, the arrow will be pointing to the time of day. And this is saying, can't tell if it's blurry on the screen. Uh, apparently it's 9 a.m. It is not. It is 12.08. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and say it's noon. Here's what we need to know. Pay attention. If you want to get a notebook out, get a notebook out. Is this worth knowing? I think it is. I think it is. If you know what time solar noon is, and you can do some basic math, you can figure this out. Okay? So, get your brains ready. Not that simple to start. First, let me bust the myth. It's 12.08. We're going to go ahead and say it's 12. Just got a stick here so we're not staring at the sun. We'll just use the shadow as our guide. So what I'm going to do, put this right along my shadow. There's no rocks under here, so I'm not worried about the, I'm not worried about the metal and the rocks on my compass off. Okay, so I'm using the shadow to gauge me. Oh, I'm already, I'm already dialed in. The red thread's already in the shed. So in theory, according to other videos on this, when I turn this over, the red arrow the shed should be pointing at the time. And looky there, it's definitely not 12 o'clock. So here's what we need to calculate. It, it took me a minute to wrap my head around this, okay? So it might take you a minute. Don't worry about it. Once you practice it a couple times in your head, you should be able to retain it enough so that in the future, you can look back on this. And even though you may not be able to get it right away, you're like, ah, I calculated it before. It was something about what I'm about to tell you. So let me just, let me just tell you, okay? Here we go. Okay, first thing we got. Time noon, 12 o'clock. Reality, something we, <clears throat> something we need to focus on more is solar noon, okay? Solar noon today is 1.40 p.m. Again, go back to that previous video to better understand solar noon versus uh, time noon. So we have an hour 40, okay? So that's solar noon. So 12 to 1.40, that's an hour and 40 minute difference, okay? Hour 40 in time form. Now we convert that into a decimal <laughs> this is hard to explain. First thing we need to know. There's 360 degrees in a circle, right? So when we travel around the sun, 360 degrees. All circles, 360 degrees. Your compass, 360 degrees. It's 24 hours in a day. 24 goes into 360 15 times. What that means for you is every 15 degrees the sun moves, it's been one hour. Or every hour that the sun is moving, it's going to move 15 degrees. That's crucial. So 15 degrees per hour, which is why, you know, you can do the finger, finger deal and every finger is worth 15 minutes. Hmm. Ironic. I don't think so. The sun every hour moves 15 degrees. Okay. We'll sit, we'll put solar versus, so solar noon versus time noon. 
So the difference between 12 p.m. and 1.40 is 1.40, okay? One hour, 40 minutes. Convert that into decimal, it's 1.66. We're going to multiply that 15 degrees times 1.66, which equals 24.96. Now, for some reason, we have to multiply times 2, or this doesn't work. This, I have not wrapped my head around yet, but it is accurate. So, 24.96 times 2, or 25 times 2, 49.9, we'll just go ahead and say 50, and that's degrees. Let's apply this. Now, since we know there's a 50 degree difference, should be 25, not sure why it's 50, but 25 times 2 is 50, and that's what we want to work with. So, here's what we have. Right now, our bearing to the sun is 135. Now, what we need to do is add 50 degrees. So 135 plus 50, 185. So I just turn this to 185. And what that should do is bring us pretty close to noon. Actually, that's, wow, it's a little bit past noon, and it's, <laughs> that is actually really accurate. The hardest part about doing these videos is choosing what to do a video on. I mean, I'm trying to do one a week. It's been a couple years since I've been doing that. It's hard to come up with new ideas. If you have some concepts that you doubt, you think are inaccurate, or you just don't understand, put one in the comment. Put whatever the topic is in the comment, explain it. I'll research it and do a video on it. So if you got one for me, please help me out. Help me help you. In the meantime, stay alive as long as you can.